been getting some questions about the OD2000 and the process data that it spits out over IO link. Um, so depending on which version you have, it spits out the IO link data just a little bit differently. Um, so the one that I have is this one, the 6074384. So if we go into downloads, then we can see that there are two different IODD files depending on the version number. So you got a version 1.1 and a version 2. And I've already got both of these open. So if I look at and the version 1.1, which is what I have, um, I look at the process data so I can get distance and then the scaling in Q1, Q2, or I can change the process data to look differently, whether it be level, um, timer, or their edge height. Um, so you can also see this inside of SOPUS. Um, I think it's in connection options. So you can see that is the same as here. Um, so distant and scale, that's going to be relative. Um, it's not going to be the absolute. So you can see the relative distance here. If I look at the sensor, um, the relative distance is offset by 350 millimeters. But the actual distance is the absolute of how far the front of the face of the sensor is to the target. Um, <clears throat> so there's a couple different ways that you can change that. Um, if you want to get the absolute distance over IO link with the version 1.1 version, um, you can come to basic settings and then we can offset that by negative 350 millimeters. And now we can see the relative and absolute are the same. Um, so that would be how you would get the absolute data. Um, over IO link with the version 1.1. If we had the version 1. Point or the other version, which is version 2.0, you can see we have more select more selections of what the process data can look like. So again, straight out of the box, we get distant and scale, which is going to be relative. But if we come down to the bottom here, uh, we can get absolute distance as well by changing that inside of SOPUS. Um, so that's how you would get the absolute or relative um, with version 1.1 or version 2 going into the PLC side of things. Um, so I've got this one set up now. We'll go ahead and factory reset the sensor. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so I'll do a factory reset. Now you can see my distances are off. I'll go ahead and close out of there. And we'll disconnect from SOPUS. Now I'll just connect it to my PLC. Now you can see as I move farther or closer away, um, I'm actually like 380 millimeters away, um, but it says 35 because I'm getting relative distance, right? So I can change this with the buttons on top. I can just hit go into measurement and cycle all the way over until I get to measured value offset. And I can do that and make that a negative 350. And now my relative and my absolute should be the same. So now if I'm around 350 millimeters away there from the target, now I'm actually getting the distance over IO link and the absolute distance from it. So another thing to look at is whenever you map this over the PLC, you're going to get some crazy numbers because this is a, a four byte, um, four bytes worth of data that we're getting over IO link for distance. So this is the data that I've got coming in over IO link, uh, well, three and four, right? So those four bytes of data, those 
bytes and words they will have to be byte swapped and word swapped so you can see there I've got it coming in deregister 13,003 and 4 and I'm taking the first word and putting it in my second destination word and the second word and putting it into my first destination word and that's actually my word swap and then I'm doing a byte swap so once I put it in a byte swap it's a double word so it's starting with D16067 and that's what you see down here and that's an extra long word that I've got there so what I did is I brought that down and divided it by 10,000 so now I've got that actual measurement right so that's setting up the OD2000 with a PLC um, and getting absolute measurements over IO link. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this helped.